Hello, it's Caroline here um, with my next video. I'm kind of doing a quasi February March book haul as a, up to this date um, because I've just quite realised how big my TBR list has um, suddenly become. So uh, let's get started with what I ordered in February, um, which was Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, I've heard good things about this, that it's fairly similar to Caraval, um, which my best friend, careful of books, is a little bit nuts over at the moment. Um, there were two covers on, off on offer. I got this on Amazon 3 for 10. Um, I've preferred this cover to the other one. Um, it, it's probably the uh, Infernal Devices fan in me, but they kind of remind me of Will and Tessa um, on the cover. So that's I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, then I have The Three Dark Crowns by uh, Kenda Blake. Um, not too sure on information about this one, to be honest. Um, I just really liked the cover in the description. So hopefully we'll get to see um, what I think of that one later. Um, and then I've got two or three here, which... You know you have books that haunt you, that kind of follow you around and you ca they catch your eye in any shop that you go into. So um, the first one is Daniel Page's Stealing Snow, which for some reason my brain kept confusing with the Red Queen cover. Um, but this was one that has haunted me for the last probably two months or so. Every bookstore I've gone into, it's been like, buy me, buy me. So I did. Um, so we'll get round to that at some point. Um, and then Heartless, that's another one. I love this cover. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, again, just haunting, really. <laughs> um, so it's on the TBR list, possibly after um, what is going to be read next, um, which I'll come to later. Um, and then lastly, from my Amazon book haul, I got The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. Um, interesting cover. Um, very intriguing, drew me in, so that's why I have bought that one. Um, obviously, I've told you before that I'm still fairly new to the YA kind of verse, as it were. So, um, if anyone has any advice or um, recommendations for which book they think I should read first or next, <laughs> um, I will gladly take them. Um, and if you have any recommendations based on books that um, I've I seem to have a preference for um, I'd be gladly to take those as well because you know I don't need money for anything else but books um, so that is my Amazon book haul mostly because I also bought um, another book in my Amazon book haul but I'll come to that in a minute because uh, yesterday, my friend Careful of Books and I went to London for an amazing little event called, at the Green Bookshop, um, where it was just a breakfast with like five or six authors. Um, uh, I mean, one of the authors was uh, one that she bought me for Christmas, and that was Melinda Salisbury, um, the Sinise's daughter. So it felt rude not to go and buy um, the sequel, number two, because that was on the Amazon 3 for 10 offer. And then when I was there, <laughs> whoops, I may have bought the third one as well. So, so yes, I, I was given that for Christmas. Um, bought this in February in the Amazon book haul and then bought this yesterday. So, <laughs> yes, um, they're all signed. You know, they've all got lovely quotations in them. Let me have a show you what they were. So this one says, all the glitters isn't gold. Uh, the second one has, not every prince wants a happy ever after. And then the third one has, 
I can find the title page. There it is. Uh, Dawn will rise. So um, that's one of the things we did yesterday. Um, lovely lady. Um, it was just really casual yesterday. So we all just sat down and really had breakfast and talked about works we liked and um, vegans killing things. <laughs> it was very strange. Um, it was a very strange co conversation to hear out of context. Um, but essentially it was about how even vegans seem to have a, a thing about mosquitoes. So the veganism doesn't extend to mosquitoes, essentially. Um, not sure what I feel about that, but that's what we had a conversation about. Um, so anyway, so that was those three. And then we also um, met Alwyn Hamilton, who is the author of uh, Kefler Books' new favourite fandom, uh, The Rebel of the Sands. Beautiful book, beautiful cover. And as soon as I saw um, my friend's copy, I thought, I really need that? <laughs> so yesterday I bought this and I, after I spoke to the author, bought the sequel as well. Um, so again, these are signed. These are, have, to Caroline, join the rebellion. And in this one we have, uh, to Caroline, rebel or traitor. So, I mean, they are my next TBRs. I have promised my friend that I will read Rebel of the Sands next. So I plan on starting that tonight. Um, might maybe get round to doing some kind of review about it. Uh, <laughs> I may have to watch a few more videos and see what sort of things people are looking for. Um, and whether I feel like I'm confident enough to do it. Um, that It didn't end there, though, because um, one of the other things we found in the shop was Lee Bardugo's um, Shadow and Bone, which, funnily enough, my friend and I had just been talking about the night before because she has um, a different cover uh, under with a different name on it. So um, when we saw it in the shop, um, we were like, it was just meant to be so um that is now on my tbr list and finally we went we like to go through charity shops because um books you know who doesn't need more books and um found this little one which i've never heard of it just really intrigued me so um i'd seen the author's name the night before when i was googling some stuff and i and i just thought that was kind of ironic that I found it uh, the same, you know, the same weekend. So if anyone has any information about this particular series, um, I think it's book four from what I've looked at it. Um, but very confused because the blurb on the back seems to seems to be written as if it was the first book. Um, so, yeah, I just if anyone has read this or uh, or knows anything about it, I'd be really appreciative if you could. Uh, comment and let me know what you think um, and what's the name of the one I should be looking for to start the series with really um, so yes that um, here endeth the book haul video so far um, careful of books and I have actually put ourselves on a bit of a moratorium buying books so that we can actually you know start reading <laughs> instead of just accumulating uh, so yes I'll let you know when I get through Rebel of the Sands and see if I can put up a review video. And um, I'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.